In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, dear friends. I would like to welcome you all to participate in this Holy Mass and receive the blessings of God through the Holy Eucharist. Now let us prepare our hearts and minds that we may all really participate in this Holy Mass. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have a great sin in my heart. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The 
the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and staff and your staff that give me courage. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Only goodness and kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come.
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, I am sure you have heard this gospel before. I am sure you have heard this parable before, where a landowner sends people to work at a different day of time, but everyone expected that they would be paid according to the work that they did. For example, one who went in the morning with more money and one who went at the end of the day with less money. But for their shock, the landowner paid every one of them equally the daily wage, which we also see as not equal because the one who worked should have been paid more. Because that is the world standard. That is the worldly standard. That is the human standard that each one should be given or rewarded what they deserve. But for God, it's not the same. He is more generous than us. He, not, he does not think in the way we think. God cares for everyone equally. He knew each one's need. Therefore, God is generous and He rewards people in His standard, not in the worldly standard. Growing in India, I have seen in my own town, when I pass by the center of the town, the downtown, you can see people waiting for to be hired because they don't have a job. They are waiting in the marketplace or in the downtown that someone may pick them up for work. And we can see people still waiting at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Even after lunch time, people are waiting there that somebody will call them to work. And can you imagine people waiting all day in the marketplace to be hired and no one to hire them and go home empty handed? What if someone came to them and gave them some money to go and feed their family? How many of us will do in our time? Our time? But God would do. That's exactly what we see in the gospel today. God cares for everyone equally. But we care for others according to their actions and their words. But God does not remember the sins, guilt and fault of others. But He forgives and cares for everyone. Because as we heard in the first reading, God is a good shepherd. He cares for everyone equally and he even cares more for the sinner on who is lost. He would not be worried much about the 99 who are doing good, but he would go after the one who is lost. That is God's standard. God is generous, kind and filled with unconditional love. Let us pray that we, we imitate Christ in our lives. We imitate God in our lives. We become a representative of God for others by being more generous in loving, forgiving and caring for one another. May God bless everyone of us. Amen. Please stand for the prayers. Father Church, that we may be a house of prayer for all peoples, welcoming everyone who seeks the Lord with a sincere heart. Let us pray to the Lord. For our leaders, that they may observe what is right and do what is just, and in doing so, Lead us in pursuing justice and goodness for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For immigrants and refugees around the world 
who seek a better life for themselves and their families, that they may be kept safe from harm as they learn to call a new nation home. Let us pray to the Lord. For scientists, health professionals, public officials, and all who serve common good during this difficult and uncertain time, that they may be filled with the wisdom and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for every one of us who are present here and people who will be watching this Mass. Let us pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all the people who are in the hospital with various illnesses. People who are going through surgeries, people who are recovering from surgeries, people who are affected by various illnesses. May the good Lord touch them and heal them. We pray to the Lord. For all who have died and for Raymond Davis, for whom we offer this man's story, let us pray to the Lord. God, our loving Father, we thank you for your love, kindness, and mercy, for your generous heart. Lord, give us the same generous heart that we may be kind, loving, and forgiving to one another in our lives. We ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit and the vine, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God With humble spirit and content heart, may we be accepted by the Lord, and may our sacrifice in the cycle stay in place with you, Lord God. God wash every way in peace and bless me for my sins. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and your gifts for the grace of your righteous name. Father, the Lord, the Father, the Son, the Church. Receive our oblation, O Lord by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our Lord. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid in the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons 
You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as a joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in the holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and was willingly entered into his passion, he took the bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Robert our Bishop, all the clergy, and all the people who are participating in this Mass today. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. In a special way, we remember and pray for Raymond Davis, for whom we offer this Mass today. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Agathe, our Saint, Saint Louis, Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Teresa of Calcutta, Saint Pope John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced into our life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through Him, our Lord, Him, our Lord. Graciously grant us the 
may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sacrifice. Peace be with you. Peace. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. 
made partakers of Christ, through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, O Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, God. My sincere thanks to Madame Jones for uh, being our lecture today. I'd like to thank Judy Parody 